Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Listed Lifestyles. And today we're checking out this $10 million house in Naples, Florida, built in the late 90s. The architecture here is incredible, over 5,800 square feet. Let's go check it out. Starting off at the front of the home, you have this circle-shaped driveway. Looking back at the front entrance back there is a gate and you've got either turning to the right, you come down this side, or turning to the left, you head back to a four car garage and a guest house above there. But coming up to this main entry, it's beautiful. These big beams up there. And then you actually are out on a peninsula here. We're gonna see the back is all water and a beautiful pool. Walking up, Got the stone pavers here, lots of glass, vaulted up, open to the sky, and then a koi pond. Inside. There are some people working here today, getting it ready. There was a tenant in here for about eight years. Look at that, right in the front door. You got two story ceilings, big piece of art go right here. They're getting it staged still, so that is probably on its way. But look at that view. Wow. We're gonna come back to that later. But that is stunning. It goes all the way over to that side there. Automatic shades, close this whole room up. It's amazing. But we've already spent too much time in this room. We've got to look over here to the right. We've got the staircase going up to a long balcony that leads to an outdoor area up above there. We've got a master suite down here on our left. We've got three more bedrooms upstairs. We've got a dining room, kitchen, living room over here, and then everything leads to the guest suite. So let's go ahead and turn around. We'll head to the master first. to the master, I want you guys to notice all of this glass in the hallway. You can see out to the lake and see over to the koi pond. Walking through, you've got this massive door. Very cool. When it's shut, it actually has no handle to it. It's going to only be locked from the inside. Look how clean that looks. Attention to detail is amazing. This was built in 1997. Very modern home for that era. And this master suite, roll down shades everywhere. And the view out to the lake. To our left here, we go towards a glass block wall. I'll show you what's behind there in a second. It's really cool. Off to our left, we've got the master bath. The right, the master closet. The favorite feature of this closet is the window up above, letting in lots of natural light, but still allowing a lot of privacy. Again, going back to this glass block wall, letting in a ton of light. And then the glass almost shower door here is pretty cool. Shut that for a second. Very cool. Open it up. You've got double sinks here to your left, concrete countertops. It has a very industrial, minimalist vibe to this home. You've got a big metal soaking tub here. Just beautiful. And then the glass block continues over here. And then they've also added glass above to make it more of a steam shower, keep a lot of the air inside of there. Walking into here, is the first part of the shower. Notice all the glass, the natural stone down here, two large boulders used as a bench. And then actually here is a door that goes outside. And right here, you have an island shower. So this is a shower here, screen above, right up to the sky. And you've got glass block here to your left. 
water all around you. And then glass block on this side. Very cool. All these clips are made for hanging other planters and everything out there. So when this is really tuned up, it's a very green space to take a shower and really feel like you're outside. Headed back into the bathroom, got the double sinks again, and we are gonna head out to the living room again. Now as we get to the living room, this staircase is something we have to talk about. It is a beautiful winding staircase, comes around and then has a balcony that goes back to the other balcony, but it is a gorgeous piece in here and really part of the artwork. The railings, all of that, very minimalist, very simple, but it is so clean. While we're talking about this staircase, let's go ahead and go upstairs and we're gonna show you an overlook of this entire property. Standing up here on the rooftop, this is above the master bedroom we just left. You can look over the entire property. It is about two acres, but it feels so much bigger than that because you're on the biggest lake in Pine Ridge in Naples, Florida. You've got the gorgeous view of the pool, the landscaping out here, the backyard, and the entire lake. This actually comes to a point on this end, which architecturally looks amazing but also it adds the ability to walk out to this corner and really see the entire property. There's actually a boat dock over there with a canoe. This is an old putting green area that they're gonna refresh. And then you've got some storage area up here, some seating that they're gonna redo a little bit. You can actually add a second floor over here if you wanted to, but it's a great space to come and get a lot of sun and kind of tucked away. And then over here, you can actually see towards the front of the property down into the koi pond. Just a very cool spot to look over the entire property and just hang out on those beautiful Florida days. While we're up here, let's head inside and let's check out three of the guest bedrooms. Now this is where we normally do a fast paced walk and I just shoot through the home, but this one has so much to look at while we're headed there. I'm gonna let you guys walk with me. So headed in the door, you can see out to the left and the way those beams and everything are set up, you can actually see the entire front yard. And then to the right, you get to look down on the staircase and then out to the lake. It's just beautiful up here. Walking down, again, seeing more of the lake view, the two-story glass. Looking off to your left, you actually have a balcony that overlooks the front. So if you wanna come out here, greet somebody that's coming in, you can do that. Down this hallway, you've got bedroom one of your guest suites right here. That has a Jack and Jill bathroom with bedroom number two which is right here again both having views of the front yard both having nice closets and then the jack and jill bathroom right through here and then walking back out here you've got this weight room which we'll come right back to in a second that's floating going back down this hallway you've got the third guest bedroom up here and this is the one that the VIPs go in because it's got its own bathroom. It's got its own walk-in closet off to the right. And then the best part of this bedroom is you're on the second story and you have this gorgeous view of the lake. Notice the old 1997 intercom system in here. It's pretty cool. And headed back out to the hallway we're headed out to this weight room and the way they did this is this could be any room you want if you just want to be a sitting space whatever but it has incredible views around the property again back to the lake and then what's also really cool is they made it float out here so when we go downstairs there's another sitting area and they got the tv up here but you can notice you can see downstairs here 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 and over there so let's do a little run around of that back downstairs. Now with this 
being the back staircase, it comes down into an informal sitting room area that also has a TV hidden under the stairs. It opens up to the kitchen and a dining room over here. But again, the focus is of glass and on this lake. So this has a view as well. It's got a door leading out to the pool, which we'll get to in a little bit. And then it takes us into this kitchen, an industrial style kitchen. We've got countertops made of concrete here, the natural stone floors everywhere throughout. Newer ovens here, got the sink again, overlooking the infinity edge pool to the lake, stainless steel countertops here, a thermidor gas stove in the middle and then you've got two industrial style refrigerators there for cooking. So the second dishwasher here and then hidden behind this wall of cabinets is a pantry or free space to put whatever you want. And then also a very cool thing in a lot of these homes because it's a two story house, you've got the chandelier key. So that gets the chandelier up and down in the dining room so that you are able to clean it. Currently there isn't one there, but that's where you would put it. And that brings it up and down this dining room table. Now there is a second formal dining space over here. I love the built-ins on that wall to display things. And I also love that this one's really private. So when you're in here, you get a little bit of that view through the kitchen, but it's much more private over here. And it's just something nice about it. It feels more intimate. It's got great space. And then this leads out towards the guest house and garage. So we'll head out here and they are doing cleaning out here. So please excuse some of the mess. But this leads towards the front door here. Got the big front yard there. It's all covered to get over here, but it is a completely separate entrance to the guest house there. And then you've got storage and an outdoor bathroom right here. You've got another walkway around to the lake and the pool. Walking over here, we've got the four car garage. Again, please excuse the mess, it's getting cleaned. But it is a four car garage. You've got tall ceilings, so you would be able to put lifts in here. Good space to turn around. A generator back in here as well. It's all really hidden from the front view when you have guests come over. And then over here, you've got the walking path. This is the back door to the garage to get in. So you can see there again. And then walking right out of the garage, if you did have a guest or a kid that never wants to leave, up here is your guest house. Carrying over from the master suite area, we've got the glass block wall again. Ties it all in, but it also lets in a lot of great natural light. Walking into this guest side, it's actually got two bedrooms and it's got two entries. So these really could be two completely separate living quarters for somebody. This is the main living room, dining room, and then kitchen over here. A very cool dark purple tone on there. Then you've got guest bathroom number one, guest bedroom, and then walking back, you've got a balcony that looks out to the lake over there. Cool feature where the ceiling's actually gone there and they've got glass in between these. You can see from this room, it's the primary room. You've got a view of the lake through there. And then over here, you always have these custom vanities everywhere we go and its own private entrance. And now let's head to the backyard to see this beautiful view, pool and lake. So I'm not sure where to even start back here because this is the crown jewel of the property. Back here in Naples in Pine Ridge Estates, this is probably the best parcel of land in the entire area. You've got over 400 foot of water frontage right here. You've got over two acres, which we believe is actually bigger than that. It's getting remeasured. Don't mind the place where there used to be some statues here that's getting cleaned up right now. But just look at the back of this house. And you can tell all the glass, all the views facing the lake. It's great. You get a ton of natural sun in the afternoons and just a gorgeous place to be. The lake um, is gorgeous, but you also have this pool that then has the infinity edge on the end. So as you're in the house, you really get the view from across there without the glass. 
and it is just such a cool look. To be a 1997 built home, you know, we're going on 25, 26 years. Don't worry, that's just a hose filling up the pool right now because people haven't been here for a long time. Um, it's just really secluded back here. It's beautiful. And again, this one being in Pine Ridge Estates, this lot's value is roughly $10 million. So it's kind of hard to think about, but if you were to buy this home for 10 million, you're basically buying a free house because there's been a lot of talk of somebody buying this parcel, taking this home down and building something 20, $25 million worth. And it can be hard to fathom, but it is just such a beautiful piece of land. And it's really the crown jewel around here that you can even see a little turtle there sitting on the fence, tons of wildlife. The owner's son actually told me back in the day, they used to have jet skis out here, but you can still kayak, do fun things like that. But this is just gorgeous setting to either build a new house or take this one and make it your own and live here for several years to come. Over in this section, let's go check out the dock and the canoe area. Now, this is a pretty cool setting down here. There are not many lakes in Naples that are inside the city limits that you're able to actually put a canoe on and go canoe around and have a little bit of fun. But this is the biggest one in Pine Ridge and just a cool setting, cool view. Be a lot of fun to be able to hang out here. Adds another full element to the property. Um, this is not a part of the canal system, so you can't put a proper boat in here to go out to the ocean, but that keeps it a little bit more private as well. And then you can see back to the house. to showcase real quick on my walk by that you can't see into these windows they're mirrored really well so you can't see inside during the daylight they also have commercial door style on them so you'll notice these big panels of glass it's almost like you're inside of a skyscraper when you're inside or when you're walking by when you hit them a little bit it feels a lot like a skyscraper window really thick glass done very commercially and then they just have these doors similar to a commercial project again that allow you to go inside and outside. And then another cool feature, because we are getting so much sunlight this time of day, is they have these awnings that come out. So those are automatic awnings that come out in the afternoons to protect you from the amazing sun. So let's walk back inside, we'll walk through the home. Thank you guys for showing up to this tour. It's been a fun one. This is definitely a unique house. This is my style, so I would love a place like this. Really appreciate all the architecture. Beautiful staircase. Let's head back out to the front. Great spot to greet guests. Koi Pond. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Listed Lifestyles. Thank you to Dan Reese and Vincent Branda of Compass Real Estate for letting us check this home out today. We hope it sells for you guys quickly. Hope you guys enjoyed another episode of Listed Lifestyles.